Hi, it's Finovar. In this video I want to show you how you can use our Art Basics soft gels to get interesting resist effect on your journal page. To show you the technique I'm going to use soft matte gel, but you can also use soft gloss gel and get very similar results. Here's a list of the useful supplies. I will use some spray inks, for example Prima Color Bloom. Um, we need Art Basic Soft Gel, of course. Uh, some archival ink for stamping. Some background stamps. Stencil, not too intricate. Paintbrush and sponge. Some color pencils. And of course some picture or photo. Then a heating tool and watercolor paints or ink. I worked in my uh, journal, which is an old book, and I didn't put any gesso because I wanted to see all the print. I started with spraying some Prima Color Bloom sprays directly on the page. Next step I did was adding some stamping. I used vintage vanity Prima stamps. Next I added some large butterflies and a Seven Dot Studio sticker, but you can also use a picture if you prefer. I added some more stamping and then I was ready to apply our resist effect. Soft gel is resistant to the water-based paints after drying and it's totally clear. It doesn't have any special dimension, but if you will apply it with a sponge uh, to the stencil, the effect may be really interesting. Next, uh, I use the paintbrush to apply the soft gel directly on the uh, photo and on the butterflies to make sure they will keep the purple color they have after putting more paint on the top. I dried the pages with heating tool and I was ready to um, paint or spill the ink. <laughs> I wasn't really careful applying my paints. I used uh, liquid watercolors and some sprays and I knew that um, the paper will absorb the color nicely and the soft gel will resist. I sprayed a bit with water and added some more colors, started moving the pages. You can see it's uh, possible to remove the color without any problem from the places where the soft gel was applied. It's great effect for journaling or any kind of mixed media project. Drying project with the paper towel helps to reveal the resist effect and the pattern. If you feel it's not enough, you can always apply more color. Watercolors and inks uh, soak into the paper so you can see them on the other side but if you want to avoid this problem you may uh, put a couple of coats of gesso before starting the page. Splashing some more color and I'm ready for the finishing touches. When working with soft gels, uh, you need to remember they are slippery, so it's important to use permanent ink if you want to stamp on the top of the gel coat. Finally, I added a little bit of the color from the colored pencil and the Fast and Furious journal page was ready.
I hope uh, you got a little bit inspired. Soft gel is really fun to use, easy to apply and versatile medium. So have fun! <laughs>